Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm in Disneyland Paris, standing in front of Captain Jack's the restaurant in Adventureland, and we're gonna go eat there and hopefully have a good afternoon. Let's go. This is the outside of Captain Jack's the restaurant. It's located right next to Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride. You can kind of see people coming out of the ride over here. That's the exterior of Pirates of the Caribbean. But this restaurant actually used to be called the Blue Lagoon uh, up until about 2017. And it had a slightly different menu and then they turned it into Captain Jack's restaurant. Here's a closer look at the outside of Captain Jack's restaurant. We're gonna have a look at the menu very quickly as well. Of course, I'll go through everything when I'm inside, but there you go. You can kind of get an idea. It's open from 11.30 until 10 p.m at the moment in the summer of 2022 uh, Disney checks menu that's like with vegetables for children cold drinks main courses starters desserts they've got like a meal plan situation as well pirates treasure menu which would be 42 euros uh, but yeah let's go in we do have a reservation for 245 and we are literally exactly on time it's currently I think at 244 or something so there you go this is a popular restaurant as you can see there's a bit of a queue even though you have a reservation um, you might have to queue a little bit just to be able to get to the cast member to let them know so it's definitely worth booking in advance like it's one of the ones that I would recommend highly to reserve in advance I mean if you can't get a reservation it's still worth coming and checking you might be lucky and have like a last minute cancellation then you can have that otherwise reservation really is an advance advanced reservations is the way to go for this you can kind of hear they're just totally telling uh, some guests here that they're fully booked without a reservation thankfully we do have a reservation bonjour hello <laughs> how are you yeah not bad thank you um, I have a reservation for two 45. We are being taken to our table now by the lovely, what's your name? Mary. Mary. <laughs> Shout out to Mary. She's amazing. And the theming in this restaurant is also very, very cool. Really love it. So welcome at Captain Jack. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here at our table and I can already smell the chlorine Which is one of my favorite things about this restaurant and also just Pirates of the Caribbean as well You know it reminds me of that ride and that's why I like this restaurant because you can actually see the ride over there in the distance Now a lot of people come to this restaurant because they want to be able to kind of be close to the water And I've been lucky enough to have eaten by the water a number of times So if you want to check out what the view is like if you have a table right next to the water I'll leave a link down below to the last time I was here. I was here with my friend Sophie in the summer of 2019 actually so about two three years ago and we had literally a table right next to the water and I I was just having the best time waving at everyone on the boats um, it was fun but honestly in some ways it's actually nice to be here as well because then you get more of an atmospheric vibe of the rest of the restaurant like with the palm trees with the kind of Caribbean vibes it's cool the one thing I will say though is that this restaurant is very very dark like I've got my menu here and <laughs> I can't really see it very well my camera shows things a bit brighter than it actually is in real life so bear that in mind this is a very very dark restaurant and really this over here this little lantern or yeah lantern thing is your only way of being able to see the menu otherwise you might have to use your torch your flashlight on your phone it is honestly like I'm saying my camera isn't doing justice this this place is dark my camera showing things brighter I might have to actually look at the menu through my camera in a way so I've just put my torch on so hopefully we can have a look at the menu together a little bit better now I'm actually on a meal plan on this trip uh, so the lovely cast member told me that the pirates treasure menu is the meal plan that I can use uh, it comes with starter, main course, dessert, and apparently I also get one soft drink with my meal plan. There'll be a whole video about meal plans coming up on my channel very soon, so make sure you subscribe for that. But yeah, as you can see, for starters, they've got uh, smoked chicken with green papaya, uh, island-style fish soup, or a vegan option, quinoa salad and spicy cashew dressing. That actually does sound pretty good. And then for the main courses, oven-baked mahi-mahi fish with steak with coconut sauce, Caribbean chicken with prawns that I have actually had before a number of times, and it's pretty good. And then the vegetable lentil and plantain curry for vegans. And dessert, Ireland style rice pudding, exotic fruit soup or shortbread. So yeah, it's quite an out there menu. Not a lot of people are gonna like, not, not everyone's gonna enjoy this kind of food. So that bear that in mind as well if you're trying to eat here. I have got the lovely, what's your name? Durota, I'm from Lithuania and I just met this lovely person. I had to say hi. 
Thank so you so hi. much. And you said that you're hoping to come to London and live in London maybe in a couple of years. Yes. We're hoping that for her as well. Leave comments down below. Tell her that you wish the best for her. Thank you so much for watching the video. And how's your food been? How long have you been? Because uh, you're eating here as well today. Yes, I'm in Disney for one day. Okay. And then I go back to Paris for two more days. Okay, cool. And you enjoying this restaurant? Captain yes, Jack? I love. I love Paris and Caribbean. So. Cool. Thank you so much. It's been really cool actually. I had company for a bit. We had a little date for for five minutes or so. Thank you so much again. Oh, you're welcome. It's so nice for me Thank too. Thank you. Well, that was so, so lovely. Thank you again to any of you who watch my videos and if you come up to me, it's always nice chatting to you. But in terms of my food, um, I think I'm going to go for my starter. I'm going to go for the chicken starter, which you'll obviously see when it comes. And for my main course, even though I have had the Caribbean chicken and prawns before, it comes with Caribbean rice and it's pretty good. Like I know I enjoy that. I think because I've had that a number of times, I want to be a bit different, be a bit more adventurous, try something that I haven't had here before. So I'm going to go for the Mahi Mahi fish. So hopefully that will be nice. And then dessert, I'm not a big fan of any of the dessert options, but we'll try, we'll, we'll go for one of them and we'll hope for the best, honestly. So they have bought me some complimentary bread, uh, which is nice. You get three rolls, which I'm probably not gonna eat all of it. I might have maybe half of one, but I also have my uh, apple juice, which is a soft drink of choice that I decided to go for with my meal plan that I have. But yeah, this is it. And yeah, I'm like looking forward to my starter, which will be the chicken option. Also, you can see here on my receipt when I checked in, uh, when I first arrived with a cast member, uh, you've got the party size, some anniversary, the date that I'm here, uh, 14, 45. And then they also did ask if I have a meal plan and they've kind of put it here, which is the uh, um, extra plus, I believe, that I have. So there you go. It kind of makes it easier for cast members to know. And just like that, my starter, my chicken is here, chicken and vegetables, I think. But I'm going to have to put the torch on let me just do that oh there you go hopefully you can see it a little bit better now it's um, some salads some vegetables some carrots by the looks of it and I presume some chicken under it as well I can see a little bit of chicken it looks pretty good it's not something I've had before I can see some cashews here as well so very very interesting I like the plate it comes in as well I love hearing the pirate song here as well. Oh, anyway, what I will say though is that this food came very, very quickly. So um, from the time I ordered to them actually bringing this to me is probably about five minutes at a push. So I don't know, when, when that happens in restaurants, when in sit-down restaurants especially, sometimes I wonder how fresh the food is. Like did they prepare this in advance or did they actually make it from scratch? I don't know. So that's something to like just bear in mind. I mean, the point of this video actually is to see if this restaurant is worth the hype because personally, Captain Jack's is not one of my favorite sit-down restaurants in Disneyland Paris. I come to it from time to time and I always have a pleasant experience, but it's not one that I would recommend as one of the best restaurants here. But a lot of people seem to absolutely love it and I think one of the reasons people love it is the atmosphere more than anything not necessarily the food but we'll see I mean the service so far has been good the food I've not tried yet so hopefully it will be good so let's uh, taste some of this it's really difficult actually it's a bit annoying in some ways because I can't see what I'm eating you can see this better than I do like when I'm actually cutting into my food I can't see what I'm cutting into at all it's that dark so yeah bear that in mind sometimes you know a lot of the experience of eating comes with seeing what you're eating sometimes when you can't see what you're eating you still might have you know enjoy the food it's just a different uh, way of enjoying it but i've got i think a little bit of chicken i think over here and some lettuce by the looks of it thank you camera for showing things a bit brighter and we're gonna give this a taste test it's good i like the sauce that they've used for it it's like a citrusy sauce the chicken's good it's like cold chicken obviously lettuce is just lettuce i'm gonna have a bit more of this i feel like so far for my first bite it's nothing too special if i'm honest i feel like this piece over here is mainly going to be now carrots and some vegetables so we're going to give this a taste now mm. it's very lemony very citrusy but the the vegetables taste good They're, they taste pretty fresh to be honest so yeah i'm gonna continue with this starter it's quite a big portion as well as you can see pretty big and yeah i'll let you know how i felt about it at the end but so far it's not something that i absolutely love i don't think it's anything that special it tastes all right and it's refreshing so i'm gonna continue eating it so my main course has arrived now and it smells really good to be honest um this is the rice the caribbean rice uh that has i think some beans in it and then this is the mahi mahi fish the baked uh i think oven baked mahi mahi fish with bell peppers and a coconut sauce. I am going to put my torch on as well so you can hopefully get a better view of this. There you go, that's better. So yeah, you can see it better here. The fish is obviously under all the 
sauce, you can see the bell peppers as well, and then the rice portion, pretty good as well, still got loads of bread left and my apple juice. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this, but before I tuck into my main course, I wanted to quickly talk about the starter a little bit. The starter, that chicken vegetable salad type thing. Um, it got better the more I ate it, but it still just wasn't anything special. So like, I enjoyed it, but it's some, it was something that I could easily, I feel like, even make at home myself and enjoy it quite the same, you know. It's like, it just didn't feel special. The taste was okay, it wasn't as flavoursome as I was hoping it to be, but it was alright, right? This, however, this uh, main course, my fish, smells really delicious. I'm looking forward to it and I'm hoping it's better than my starter. We'll see. So again, I have that problem where <laughs> I'm about to tuck into my food and I can't, I really just can't see it very well, which is just annoying. Like, let me know how you feel about this. Sometimes you just, when you're at a restaurant, I feel like a lot of it is down to the presentation of the food and it is presented well, like, this is the food that I've showed it to you. It's nice, good portion as well in my opinion. But the fact that I can't see it very well, like I'm not even sure what I'm eating. I mean, I know what it is, but it's just, you, you want to be able to see your food. But there you go, I've got a little <laughs> bit of fish, I believe now. It smells nice, it really does smell nice to be fair. So let's give it a taste test. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nothing amazing, again, but it's nice enough. I like the sauce that they've used for it. So I'm going to have some of the peppers as well. There you go, this is my second portion. Hopefully this will give it more of a taste. Mm. Yeah, the peppers are really nice. The sauce they use is really nice as well. I can't even taste too much coconut because I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. Uh, and it's not very coconutty. It's actually a lot more fishy than coconutty. Like the fish tastes very fishy. That's why the sauce helps. And then the peppers, everything around it, make it taste nicer as well. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy some of that. But before I do that, I'm going to also have a little bit of the rice. I mean, it's just plain rice, Caribbean rice with some beans on it. I've had it before. I know what it's going to be like, but for the purpose of this video... Yeah, it's all right. Well, I finished the whole thing. Uh, so I definitely felt differently about my main course than I did to my starter. The rice is gone, the fish was really really delicious as well, so it's all gone. So let's talk a little bit about my main course, the Mahi Mahi fish with uh, bell peppers and coconut sauce. Now, as I said, I'm not the biggest fan of coconut sauce, I was worried it was going to be very coconutty. It definitely wasn't. So at times I would... Oui, c'est fini. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Merci. Um, yeah, at times I would feel, um, I would taste a little bit of the coconut, but so little that it really was not coconut -y. like honestly i forgot that it was even a coconut sauce because it had such a small taste of it that it was absolutely fine for somebody like me who's not the biggest fan of the coconut taste um, but the sauce itself was actually really really good i love the sauce i love the bell peppers and the fish itself was nice too it was a little bit bland uh, and just kind of a fishy taste when i first tasted it kind of mainly on its own but when i mixed it with the sauce and had more of the peppers and the sauce with it it actually was really nice really really nice with the um, rice as well good combination I really enjoyed it. Would I say it's one of the best meals I've had in Disneyland Paris? No. <laughs> oui. Merci. Um, the cast member just came to ask if I'm ready for my dessert. But um, yes, uh, it's not that the best meal I've had in Disneyland Paris or one of the best meals I've had here, but it's a nice change. It was actually a little bit spicy too, so my mouth, my tongue is like feeling the spice a little bit now. Not too spicy by any means, but of course with there being some peppers in there, it's going to be a little bit spicy. Um, but I would say if you're not a fan of, like if, you have a, if you're very picky basically, if you're a picky eater, if you've got a very basic palate, you might not enjoy the food that I had, you probably definitely won't, and you also just might not find anything at uh, this restaurant that might be to your taste. I mean, for children, I think the menu is easier, you know, obviously they've, they've, it's adapted to children's tastes, so I think it'll be easy for them, but for adults, I'm not sure. Obviously, I had the meal plan and I had the three options that I showed you, one of them being the one I had here, the mahi mahi fish, the other one being the chicken and prawns um, with rice, which maybe that might actually be a bit better for picky eaters. I've had that before as well. If you want to see what that looks like, check out my video from here when I was here last i'll leave the link down below but the other option was a vegetable curry um, which is for like the vegan option so that's for the meal plan um, and like the cheaper options i would say then you also do have a la carte you can get a suckling pig of some sort and also a beef like a beef option as well so there's two more options i'm gonna leave them here hopefully on the menu so you can see what they are um, they're still not going to be like your typical steak or your typical pig pork situation they'll still be a bit caribbean themed if you like, you know, with some flavours. I've not tried either of them yet. Let me know if you have. 
but maybe those would be better for you and there might be something that you could have if you're very picky with your food but otherwise if you're adventurous if you like more all kinds of food if you love fish um, then my food was really delicious I enjoyed it a lot and I would recommend it so my dessert has arrived now which was the island style rice pudding with a mango puree I believe and again I am going to show it to you right here in a second as well this is just kind of what I'm seeing right now except you're still seeing this brighter than I am here is a better view of it you can see the rice pudding there seems to be some little breadcrumbs on top of it as well and then the mango puree is on the bottom and there's like a little, like a little chocolate stick as well looks pretty good it's not something that I would normally go for at all um, in terms of desserts I don't think I've ever actually even had rice pudding but we'll see we'll give it a taste test hopefully it will be nice I like trying new things right so I've got the dessert here with me the rice um, rice cake rice pudding um, yeah we're gonna give it a little taste test I'm a little bit nervous like I said it's nothing that I've never had before but it's an island style rice pudding so hopefully you know with it being the Caribbean and me really enjoying the pirate vibe the pirate's life the I mean I don't I've never been a pirate before in my life obviously and I don't think it would be a very fun life to have but I do love pirates and I can't the ride so I'm gonna give this a taste test it's not bad it really isn't bad the actual rice pudding tastes a little bit bland to be honest I mean it doesn't taste off too much but the mango puree thing on the bottom is very nice and sweet so it gives a dessert vibe to it I'm gonna have a little bit of the um, the, the breadcrumb things that they have on it as well and try it with that there you go this is gonna be my next bite mm. Mm. I can see why they put the breadcrumbs on there and not even breadcrumbs like biscuity things just to give it a bit of a crunch because if you don't have that crunch element the dessert itself is so mushy like with the rice rice um rice bread rice cake whatever it's called and the mango puree is a very soft dessert so it does need a bit of a crunch to it to make it more exciting and with the uh, biscuit crumbs that they have on it i wish they had more of it actually like maybe all over it would have been nicer for me personally it makes it nicer and they've got the chocolate stick as well but yeah actually i'm not mad about this dessert at all i'm glad i got to try it you know try something new and different and i think it's a decent dessert it really is quite good and we do have the receipt here for us as well now because i was on the meal plan of course i didn't really have to pay for it at all um i'd already paid for the meal plan and that covered everything that i had today but you can see what the price would have been had i not had the meal plan um that's everything that i ordered uh yeah pretty pretty good meal but yeah i was pleasantly surprised with that dessert in particular i didn't think i was gonna like it at all now don't get me wrong it's not the best dessert i've had in my life at all by any means and given the choice i probably would still not go for that i would probably try something else that i prefer in terms of desserts like a tiramisu something a bit more me something that has, doesn't have fruits in it because if you don't know this about me i don't normally like mixing fruits with things like i like having my fruits on its own i just don't like desserts or cakes or things that put fruits in them i don't know it's something like about it's a texture thing for me but this one tasted all right and i did enjoy it you've got the beautiful pirate flag around me behind me and actually i thought before we leave the restaurant i would give you a quick little tour as well we're going to go a little bit closer to that area so you can hopefully see some of the boats the pirates of the caribbean boats before we leave here is a quick overview from the place that i was sat you can see all the other tables and locations of places that you can be sitting potentially you can see one of the boats the cab of the caribbean boat hello pass over just said hi yeah you can see it over there hopefully the distance going past which is very very cool i'm a little bit jealous of them being on that ride i love pirates of the caribbean one of my favorite rides in disneyland paris and in some ways actually i think being here was quite cool because you get to see this view i mean honestly i don't think it's a bad seat in the house if you like there's not a bad place to sit obviously a lot of people do prefer being by the water but being here means that you can get more of an overview of everything whilst you're eating so yeah i love all the lanterns as well they're so atmospheric they really bring this restaurant to life because otherwise without these lanterns this place would be so so dark Dark, like even darker than it is right now here's another boat going past over there there's another one there as well and you can literally see the water the beautiful water of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride with everything around it here it's so cool it really is and this table which is actually empty at the moment is where I last sat with my friend Sophie so again if you want to see exactly what that experience was like and maybe see more of the variety of foods they have here check out that vlog below it's, it's pretty cool obviously here being here everything is the same you've got a view of the other side of the restaurant instead you're closer to the water it feels a bit cooler you can smell the chlorine a little bit as well don't worry it's not too much that I mean it's not gonna like affect your meal or anything I quite like like it actually overall this restaurant is just awesome for its atmosphere like the theming is just second to none you can see another boat going past <laughs> it's 
so cute. Um, yeah, there they go. Like I feel like that's more or less it in terms of the restaurant. It's not very big either, so you can see there's like three different levels. Um, most of those tables are also like two ta two seater tables. They do have some bigger ones, but they don't necessarily have very huge ones. There's another one going past over there. But yeah, I honestly love the vibe of the restaurant, the atmosphere, just being able to be so close to Pirates of the Caribbean the ride and there's another boat going past as well and kind of hearing the soundtrack to Pirates from time to time as well is awesome. But that's basically it for the restaurant. I'm going to slowly but surely make my way out. Uh, honestly, the theming is amazing though. You don't feel like you're in Disneyland Paris at all. You don't feel like you're in a theme park when you're at Captain Jack's. It very much takes you, transports you to another world, to the Caribbean if you like. But yeah, cool props everywhere as well. Ugh, the sound of the water just really really relaxes me but yeah let's go out and talk about the restaurant our final thoughts okay and just like that we are heading out same door where we came in from and it's back into the real world well not even still real because we're in Disneyland but no longer in the Caribbean so my final thoughts on Captain Jack's the restaurant here in Disneyland Paris is Adventureland I like it. I don't love this restaurant. I don't visit it often. It's definitely not one of my favorite restaurants here. There are better sit down restaurants in Design Paris, in my opinion. But for the atmosphere alone, and especially if you love Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride, if it's one of your favorite rides, and you've always wished to eat there or close to it and just kind of have that vibe whilst you're having a meal, then it's worth checking out at least once. But just make sure that, you know, the food options are good for you because, as I said, the food options aren't your typical foods that you'll be getting in Design Paris or in Disney Parks World. Wide. they're a bit more adventurous so just have a look at the menu before you choose whether to come here you're looking at spending at about maybe around 40 50 euros 45 euros if you're going for like one of the meal plans like with the starter um, the main course and dessert but obviously if you have a meal plan already then you've already paid for that but yeah it's not too expensive you know there are restaurants here that are definitely more expensive but it's definitely not cheap either so you know you got to make sure that the experience is worth it for you like if you're just going for the atmosphere alone and you know that you're not going to like any of the food items then it might not be the restaurant for you but if you like being a bit more adventurous if you're open to trying something new like i was surprisingly happy with my dessert i didn't think i was gonna like it at all but it was fine um, and i really enjoyed my main course but then i do like fish so it's it's something for you it's, it's something that you have to decide i can't obviously make that choice for you you saw what it was like the atmosphere is excellent actually before the pandemic they used to even have captain jacks himself come and visit the guests from time to time during the lunch hours they haven't brought that back yet maybe they will i don't know that used to be very very fun but that is it i feel like i've talked for a long long time there you go again captain jack's the restaurant let me know if you've ever dined here before and what your thoughts are also be aware that it's very very dark in there that's something that i think some people forget to mention it's really dark and if that's not your thing might not be the best place for you but that is it i'd love to hear your comments about the restaurant about just Disneyland paris anything you'd like to share with me any questions as well follow me on instagram and subscribe for more videos i will see you in the next one yo ho